Let's go. This is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we got the baby, the baby. This is the baby. If he was a convertible, made an automation and converted into Beam and G Drive, and it is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I know, I know, the meme is weeks dead. I don't care. You look at this thing. You look at this thing. And it's just like, my God, man. What kind of abomination have you released onto this world? It is just absolutely horrifying in the very best way possible. And also, it's stupid fast because apparently the baby convertible has a V16 engine with turbochargers on it that makes like 1300 horsepower. Yeah. Over a thousand horsepower for some reason. And my god, it can actually drift. Nobody told me the baby convertible was the best drift car ever. Oh man, the baby, are you okay? <laughs> His head just goes under the ground. Alright, look, what you do after the crash, you look at the car, if it says let's go, that means you keep driving. It's that simple. How many times am I gonna say let's go in this video? That is a good question. It's gonna be a lot. How can you not say let's go all the time? And here is another spectacular drift. This is a natural drift car. Impact detected. Are we going to stop? Let's find out. Let's go. It is so terrifying. And it just gets more terrifying the more you crash, I'm pretty sure. This thing is really something else. And I don't want to say this vehicle or this car is something else because this is just a head with wheels. And by the way, I'm actually trying to break it in crashes. Uh, every time I try, though, it just says, let's go. You can't stop this convertible. <laughs> Jesus. Have you seen the eyes? <laughs> it's just, it gets worse and worse. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Sometimes they're just mods that are so dumb, you gotta make a video for them. This is one of them. All right, come on, let's just crash head on into that wall and see what it does. Here we go. <laughs> what do you think of that, the baby? Let's go, or not, not really. It, it's like no steering at all. How about this? We're going to bring it back a little bit. We're going to do high speed collision in that wall. Hopefully like 100 miles per hour at least so we can really see what the damage looks like from fresh to destroyed. That should be enough room to get up to 100 miles per hour because this thing is fast. Later on, we should actually test how fast it is. But right now, it's crash testing time. All right, here we go. We got eight times slow-mo. Oh, no. I'm flying over the wall. Okay, well, here's a new question then. Does the baby as a convertible float? And the answer to that should be obvious. It's probably going to be no. Why would it float? The baby didn't turn himself into a boat. He turned himself into a convertible. And usually, convertibles don't float. Sometimes they do, but that's very infrequent. So we're going to try this one more time, but I'm going to go for a different angle of attack. So hopefully we can actually smash the head in, but not here. Because I know if I go there, I'll just fly over it. But I went way too fast in it like a big fat dummy. And you can see we're over 100 miles per hour. That's more than fast enough. We just got to find the right opportunity because I want to make sure this is like a head-on collision. So if a barrier is sticking out like that, that could be perfect. All right, here we go. Try number two of this. We're going to be using 16 times slow motion. We're going to just shatter his face. <laughs> oh my, that was magnificent. This thing has the best crash physics I have ever seen. We must do another collision head on to admire this amazing damage. We'll try to do it a little bit slower though. And maybe we'll try to do it right here under this wall. Like this doesn't look like it has the lips, so this might work. Let's see. Oh yes, this looks good. <laughs> His face explodes. That will never get old to me. That is just the most amazing thing I have ever seen. And yet, after the impact, what does it say? Let's go. Okay, that's enough crash testing for now. You know what we need to test, though? We need to test how fast is the baby, the baby. And the best way to do that is to take it to a drag strip. So let's head over to West Coast USA. After all, all wheel drive with a V16, that has to be fast, right? I have absolutely no clue how fast it's gonna be comparatively, but sure, let's do the baby versus the baby. I, I usually don't use the cinematic intros. It was worth it this time. The cinematic intro was worth it. I mean, look at the, <laughs> every time you see the face on this thing, it's just like, what is this? 
absolute abomination of nature. No way nature would even let something like this exist. Only mankind can make something this horrifying. This is basically just Frankenstein's monster, but what if it was a car? It's also got Frankenstein's engine though, wow. Whoo, that was fast. That was real fast, 7.582 at 185 miles per hour. Legitimately, this may be the world's fastest convertible. Yes, it's a convertible. He turns himself into a convertible. It looks like a sedan, it's a convertible. I don't know what makes it a convertible and what makes it a sedan. Just don't question or ask these kinds of things. Just enjoy how <laughs> it looks after you crash it. Like, the deformation is god awful. But I don't care because the vehicle itself is also like just so god awfully hideous. It's hilarious. Ooh, ooh, dumb idea, dumb idea. We gotta do a head on collision where the two da babies kiss each other. It can be like, no kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So I'll put one of them way down here at the end of the drag strip because it's a high speed kiss. Because he don't mess around when he kissing. Does doing this have a secret message? No. Wait a minute, does the face actually change as you go faster? Like, does it stretch itself some? Or is that just like an illusion? Let's see. No, it stays the same. For some reason, when I reset it, it looked like it changed how it looked a little bit. I'm like, why did it do that? But it wasn't a real reason that it did that. And by the way, that's a wall that I just crashed into. So anyways, kissing time. I'm just gonna drive right into them. Maybe we'll slow it down a little bit because 200 miles per hour is too much. We'll go like 100-ish. That seems like a very reasonable speed for kissing. I don't know, I've never kissed anybody before so I don't know the normal speed you would use. All right, here we go, 110-ish miles per hour. We're gonna use as much slow-mo as we possibly can. So you ever seen two the baby convertibles kissing before? Because now you have. Let's go, we're gonna use 100 times slow-mo because we're going 100 miles per hour. Makes sense to me. <laughs> First thing to do when you kiss, you extend your teeth out, then you extend your eyeballs forward to be showing how shocked you are that you're kissing somebody. Honestly, it held up way better than I expected, so you know what that means, right? Bring on the 200 miles per hour, except the AI's gonna drive up to it. Hopefully they'll be there by the time I get there. If not, we'll kiss them on their cheeks. Here we go. 30 PSI boost. V16 engine getting us up to like 200 miles per hour for the world's fastest kiss. Let's go again. Is this gonna be the last time I say let's go? Probably not. And once again, 100 times slow mo. Here we go. Double as fast as the last one. <laughs> I don't know why this is so amusing to me. It's just so dumb. You know, all the mods in this game are usually like, oh, this is a very serious car, look at this very realistic collision. This one says, like, no, it's the baby is a convertible and his face explodes when you crash it. You don't like it? Don't download it. You know, I like it. I'm glad I downloaded it. <laughs> they actually got their, uh, ki their teeth stuck together from the kissing. That's unfortunate. All right. We gotta do a couple more tests and then we're done with this mod. So first off, how far can it fly at Car Jump Arena? And I'm thinking it's gonna fly great just because of how fast it can go. It's gonna be going well over 200 miles per hour and I don't have any clue what kind of aerodynamic setup this thing actually has. Ooh, that was smooth. Oh, now we're moving. Here we go. What are we gonna hit? 200. 230 miles per hour. Let's go straight into the sand. That is a beautiful flight. <laughs> and then the face. <laughs> it gets me every time. Oh my goodness. It just spikes everywhere. It's so terrible. <laughs> All right, next up, brutal slope. We're really going to make it spike now. And I just thought about it. Does the baby the baby have a license plate? I don't think it does. And yes, I'm going to call it the baby the baby or just the baby is a convertible. I don't know what the heck to call this thing. It's just it it is what it is. And it has no license plate, but it does have a mean looking exhaust. Look at that quad exhaust. Ready to go. Here we go. How fast can we go? Get rid of all of those electronic stability controls slowing you down. Oh, uh, yeah, the gearing is set. It's upshifting still. It looks like we're going to reach over 300 miles per hour, or not quite, we hit like 301, so just barely under 300, that's where it tops out, and we are going to have a massive collision. And the camera's probably going to freak out, so we freeze physics, get a nice looking camera angle, and then, let's go! 
the baby convertible has been crushed. All right, well, <laughs> that's what you expect to see pretty much. I don't know what else to say besides that's as expected. So next, finishing everything off, the trifecta, leap of death. And once again, I expect a really good flight out of this. I work great at Car Jump Arena, so why not? Let's go. Flooring it, no traction control helping us, and we are going about 100 miles per hour at the jump. And look at how beautiful it's flying, going through the air like a DaBaby convertible, because nothing goes through the air like this thing, because nothing is like this thing. And this is actually a really good leap of death jump as well. Bam! absolute destruction but it's a one hitter one hit and then it's into the water and that's gonna do it for this video until next time this has been YBR and remember if you like or dislike this video I will know I can tell by how big of an abomination this vehicle is so do the right thing and I'll see you next time Oh, yeah, you killed her. I was literally in chill. I don't know if I'm not listening.